With version 0.6 of Bob's Track Builder, there's a new feature, Cameras. This is going to be used for R Factor, and with version 0.7 of Bob's Track Builder, there will be another game supported as well. Uh, to use a camera, first find a position that you, you think will be a, a good spot to, to take a picture. In this case, the, the track's going to run clockwise, and I'm going to look down the track here and I'm going to add a camera just by clicking on the plus. You'll notice straight away that if I just zoom back out a bit, there's two um, spheres being created. The smaller one is the camera position, that's where the camera is actually going to sit. The larger one is very important, it's called the activation radius. And this determines when this camera becomes active. If I pan back a bit, you'll see that ball actually takes up a bit of space and it's centered around the camera. When a car travels along here in R-Factor, it'll hit this sphere and that determines that this camera becomes active. If there is no sphere um, currently active, if there's a, a, another camera here for instance and the car's halfway in between, then the nearest camera will be the one to be used. So it's good to be able to move these activation spheres around um, at the moment it's locked to the camera position but if you go to the activation tab and then click on uh, alternative location then you can move that sphere around and determine that this camera will become active now when the camera comes over here and hits this point here. Um, if I just zoom back down into the camera position and go back to the basic tab if you didn't quite like where you had it a moment ago, you wanted to pan down or move back or something. You see the camera is currently sitting up there. If you set it to the current view, it's back to that very spot you were at. So that's how you move the, the camera position around. Field of view, um, in and out values, and the roll is all passed through to R-Factor. Um, I'll set up another camera over here. As it comes maybe further along here. We'll set a camera here by pushing the plus button. The minus button obviously removes the current camera and we'll move further back here and we'll set another camera here. On this camera we're going to allow the, the movement of the camera not to be centered around that point but instead moving along a path. So these work very similar to the, the walls and there's arrows here to show you what direction that camera is going to move. So I want it to start here. If I just pan back here I want it to, to move over to here. Um, and just zoom in a bit. We can lower that node by holding the Y key and moving it downwards. You'll see that it's sunk through the ground there. Um, this checkbox here will mean that no matter what you do here it will stay above the terrain if it was already above the terrain. So if you move it up a hill it'll stay a, a fixed height above that hill. Um, so that's useful if you're working with hilly terrain. I, I tend to keep that on. Um, press control if you want to add and change the shape of this camera path. So here it's going to um, start off at a higher position and then we can move it down towards the ground. Just hold Y and move these down. And you see the path is then going to follow that that um, movement. Um, if you want to delete a node it's just um, whatever one is highlighted, press delete, it'll be removed. Um, then the, the last tab just has a number of settings which are all really passed through to R-Factor. Um, I don't do anything clever with those. And uh, the grouping allows the camera to be in one or more groups. Um, read the documentation for more information on that and um, hopefully that'll give you um, one more thing you can do in BTB.